Yo, what's up guys? It's DJ Rick Webb. We're back at it again. We're in Ohio. That's right, Ohio today. If you guys remember when I used to DJ all the time in Ohio, this was a main venue. But last time we were up here with Shenandoah's prom, we're back here to do a wedding. And specifically, this wedding is for a relative of mine. It's for my cousin. It's going to be very interesting, very fun. Pretty large setup here at Pritchard. And we're also doing a pretty baller setup, including some cold spark fountains from my boys at DJ Associates. We're going to be doing some cold spark fountains. So uh, behind me is where we're setting up. We're loading in everything right now. And uh, we'll get this going. New product updates, as always, because you guys like to see new products. We just got these, literally, they showed up Wednesday that I was traveling back here. So I'm so thankful for it because we wouldn't have sub -pulls. So these are the sub poles from Gator uh, Frameworks. They come with a couple here. This goes into like the subs that don't have the, the M threads in them. But you can unscrew this from the bottom here. Now we have the threads that screw into the VRX subs here. So, and this also screws into pretty much every sub. It's a standardized one. This is pretty simple. They have the adapter. This is what your speaker's gonna sit on. And then they have like a little Velcro strap around this, which is this one. And then, woo, boner effect. And then you put it back down. These technically do not have the weight capacity for the 63 pound SRX tops. But if you have something lighter, like a Purex top or a, a QSC K12, it'll work a little bit easier. Put them on the speaker stands. This doesn't actually lift it up, so you gotta actually put a little bit of force, like I'm putting the most, like one hand of force on this. There's no real markers to indicate how high up you are, which I don't, I don't like that, but um, yeah, new product updates, there you go. I, I was gonna film a time lapse of unloading, but we've already like took three of the like five rolling things out of here, so see what's left. <laughs> First, before we start here, I want to go through and just kind of show you guys the convenience of wheels. But look, we got the VRX sub with the SRX top on wheels. We got the movers on wheels. We got the Pro X Blitz Cold Spark machines. This is actually Chris's from DJ Associates. I'm actually going to be purchasing some of these, so it's it's a good tester to see how they are. We got the Rock and Roller, which all of this stuff that's kind of laying around here was already stacked up on on wheels. The other set of subs on wheels, SD case on wheels, and the two totems with the base plates on wheels. Wheels make load in easy. Wouldn't you say, Mike? Yeah. Remember back when we used to do load ins and everything was just on carrying? Like oh, yeah. Carried everything? Those were a hassle. So we're going to get set up. We're going to time lapse everything. And then I walk you guys through this amazing, awesome setup. This is going to be a baller setup. I mean, totems, movers. We got the vent table, the facade. We got uh, up lighting. Well, up lighting is just for mine. It's not for around the room. But yeah, it's going to look dope. It's going to look awesome. So let's get it going. And sparklers, cold spark machines. Let's go. <laughs> So we are fully set up here other than some element hex bars that are charging right now that are going to be placed inside of the totems as well as we'll probably just use them to fill in around the room. Uh, maybe we'll set them inside of these uh, columns on each one of them to add like a little more dramatic effect on the dance floor. But let me take you guys through the awesome setup including these pretty dope sparklers. Yeah. So, we're gonna go through everything that is up here right now. Obviously, we have our Global Trust totems. Again, sorry for this like blur line, as you guys can see as I go through there. It's just the lighting in here. It's the frequency the light's on. But we got our Global Trust totems right here. These are like six and a half feet tall, or something like that, with an ADJ Interspot Pro on top of both running donor wireless DMX. We made a whole video on wireless DMX. Speakers are JBL SRX 815Ps with JBL VRX 918 SPs. Big room, big sound. That's what we're going for. ADJ event table with custom FS sign these are pro x blitz sparkler cold spark machines these are dj associates if you guys remember chris the owner of dj associates is who i used to work for back when i was in ohio i don't own these yet but those are the ones i'm tr trying to get this is a good chance to test them out and see what they're doing we got the 16 foot high ones in here because we have the really high ceilings adj haze generator so we get all those awesome beams from the InnoSpot pros themselves we got the adj white event facade back here covering up the table that has our mics back here we got the audio technica 3004 gins back here from empower 
power strip. We got the shelf right here, the little sliding door that holds the mics. And then we got all of our paperwork right here off of Vibo. Vibo prints out this awesome paperwork. I got a question the other day. Someone sent me an email and said, Ricky, do you really use HoneyBook and Vibo? And I'm like, yeah, it literally my whole business runs on HoneyBook and on Vibo. I use it every single day. Legitimately got it. Vibo is where all my clients do the planning. It's like one of the icing on the cake factors that sells the brides and grooms on like our services is when we show them the app in the one-on-one -on -one consultation, we show them the app and they're like sold. So there's a little tip for you guys. But yeah, HoneyBook, that's how I manage my whole entire business. It's all on HoneyBook and Vibo, guys. We got the Pioneer DDJ SC inside of an all black Pro X case. We got our DBX drive rack, PA2. You guys know custom build, custom ports on the backside, custom laptop arm here. We're running the HP Spectra X15T with Serato DJ Pro. We got the secondary laptop running our Chavez Show Express and maybe Virtual DJ for some side mixing. We got the Chavez Show Express box down here, donor wireless DMX, 180J par down here, lighting up our facade, Vimoto headphones. We got the wonderful cushy to save our feet mat here. Then also on the side here, we're actually borrowing a couple of the pipe and drape poles that they have here at Pritchard. This is Pritchard Laughlin Civic Center. We're using two Chave DJ Wash FX2s, one there and one there, giving us some nice atmospheres. This is kind of the set look we're going for right here, the yellows. It's a sunflower maroon theme. But anyways guys, we are all set up, ready to go. We're gonna get some cool footage and some video of the full setup with the sparklers going on and all that fun stuff, so. Stay tuned. Jim and family and friends, I want to welcome everyone once again to Alyssa and Ryan's wedding reception. Can someone please make some noise for our newlyweds out there? Make some noise this evening. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Before we introduce some very special people that are waiting out in the hallway, I want to recognize some other special people that are amongst you guys in the audience. And those are our grandparents. First, I'd like to recognize Alyssa's grandparents, which are also my grandparents, Richard and Mary Jo Weber. They are in attendance right there. Give them a hand. Come on, Grandma. We also want to recognize Ryan's grandparents, that is Paul and Ruth Tuttle. We also want to recognize Ryan's other grandpa, Marlon Rowe, as well, in attendance this evening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask everyone to please direct their attention to the right of the DJ booth. Things off with the oldest two on the wedding party. We got Tara Fowler and Brock Williams. Next, we have Teresa Hasting and Eric Valentine. Hands going for Peyton and Ben Bruner. Macaulay. Next we have Megan and Joe Scrutters. Oh yeah, we ready to party here. I need everyone to make some big noise for our maid of honor, Lexi Baker, and our best man, Logan Tuttle. Gentlemen, family, and friends, we've introduced in our wedding party, we've introduced in our parents, we've also introduced in our flower girls and our ring bearers. At this time, I need everyone to rise from their seats if you can, if you can, do so. I need everyone to make some noise, get it loud, scream if you wish, shout, as it's my honor to introduce for the second time tonight, the new Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Tuttle. Someone needs to make 
make some noise for Alyssa and Ryan. Make some noise. Which means I need all of my single ladies to the dance floor. Single ladies, where you at? Single just means not married. You can be engaged, you are still single. No biting, no scratching, uh, no, no face shots of any sort. That's just bad for your looks. So just keep it clean, no one should be bleeding here. Three, two, one. Let it go. Whoa! We have our winner! Give it up, give it up! Single men, single gentlemen to the dance floor. Three, two, one. Let it go. And redo, bring it back. Toss it, just toss it. Adam, do your one. It's over. Sorry, I didn't think I filmed a lot because um, I didn't have an assistant tonight. If you guys noticed, I did introductions completely up there. I couldn't like get down on the floor, which kind of was hard to do. We're gonna tear it down now. I don't have an assistant. I'm gonna do it all by myself and break it down. Also, if you're wondering where Michael is, um, Michael was helping me set up, but like Michael hasn't helped me set up this gear in like forever, and he really doesn't know much of it anymore. Can't remember how it all goes together. And plus, we got new stuff. So we're gonna break it down. Let's go. One hour, flat, we're out. That's an impressive set to tear down. But anyways, we're outside of Pritchard, it's all over with, we're getting to get into the beast and head on home, and then I'm gonna head all the way back to North Carolina tomorrow. Congratulations to my cousin Alyssa and Ryan. Uh, it was awesome, it was so much fun. Like always guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Keep the record spinning guys, peace.